All right, hey everybody in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. We have Rakdos midrange for the last time before RNA. This is our last stream before Ravnica Allegiance is going to be on Arena. And so we're finishing out with four more uh, of my favorite decks. And so this one that we have up next is Rakdos midrange. Definitely a really solid deck, tons of... Uh, this, this deck can really grind tons of cards that generate card advantage, um, and it also has the Immortal Sun on the top end, so I certainly like that. All right, let's go ahead and get to our games and see how Rakdos Midrange does today. Hey, Chris. Day's going good. Yep, we're just starting off, and... It's our last stream before Ravnica Allegiance. Rakdos midrange, here we go. Hey Jakarta, no, I will not be in the event tomorrow. I'm gonna be taking tomorrow off um, and getting ready for a 12 hour stream on Thursday from 11 to 11 Eastern. Gotta, gotta try to build the um, Ravnica Allegiance collection as fast as I can. Yeah, best of three rank next month. Definitely. Um, hmm. Hey, Queso. Hey, Matthew. Um, I, I kind of would rather have this hand on the draw than on the play. I think I'm going to keep it. Hawkeye's kind of in my way, though. I need to get to... need to actually get to... Here, come over here. Come here. Thank you. I need to actually get to my mouse. <laughs> oh, Red Red Bulls don't... Red Bulls kind of make me sick. I don't do the energy drink thing, so... Red Bulls make me sick. <laughs> that's that's what I've done hot outside in the last three days played played like the 12 you know 12 different decks the last three days for a last time yeah I'm gonna try to get to bed kind of early on uh, tomorrow to be able to have enough energy for the 11 to 11 should certainly be a lot of fun playing at Ravnica Allegiance the whole time Maybe just contempt. I'm gonna save a contempt for a for a Vraska. Or sorry, for a Vivian or something like that. We both draw a card here and lose a life. I think it's likely our opponent plays a Ravenous Chupacabra next turn. Or, okay, they have their own contempt there. So this is looking pretty good for us. We have, you know, they play a Planeswalker, we got Eldritch Reborn. You know, it's like we got Eldritch Reborn for some value, Playcrafter is some good value. Um, we can Daredevil their contempt. Uh, this is definitely looking uh, good. Uh, sealed, yeah plan for Thursday is sealed. Uh, they're not going to have drafts for the new set until Friday, so we're going to be doing sealed. Uh, constructed, you know, I won't have the cards yet. we got to build up the collection um, there. Hmm. Well... Mind finality is a little annoying for me, but of course, uh, now this daredevil is like I'm, d I'm d most likely going to use find finality on my daredevil now. Yep, two thousand gems a pop. Yep. Hopefully, we do some winning. Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure how outside today. We'll see. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. 
All right, let's coil the Reaper. And then play Crafter. And I'll just sack. I kind of want to sack play Crafter so I can get play Crafter back. With uh, Daredevil Find, I can get two play Crafters. I think I'm going to do that. The best way is playing limited with drafting and sealed and stuff like that. That's the best way. Yep, so we'll be playing sealed all day Thursday. Yep. Nice. You got tons of tons of gold saved up. Ugh. Stop playing finalities. Unfortunately, that find that find means I don't get the Jade Light Ranger, which Jade Light was the card I wanted to get with Eldest Reborn. Third chapter. Looks like we're just going to get Play Crafter. We got Branch Walker, I suppose. I don't think they'll have another. Um, I don't think they'll have another fine finality. At least I certainly hope not. They have, of course, the Memorial to Folly, but. Hey, Sidracha. Um, I'm not like super excited for ranked best of three. I I like these events honestly more, just kind of in general. All right, get that thing out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and daredevil to find. And we'll get back double play crafter. So they can play Vivian. But they, if they Vivian minus and kill Elister Born, then Daredevil kills Vivian by attacking. So I could certainly see them playing Vivian and taking up. Okay, so yeah, they're just not even going to play Vivian. This, of course, means we get Daredevil back. Which getting is Daredevil find only get Squire right now. So we're gonna have Daredevil plus Squire. Could Daredevil contempt the Chupacabra? Yeah, the sagas were pretty great. All right, we're going to Daredevil, Contempt, the Chupacabra. So that's out of there for, for good. And I don't want to play Bloodfast here, because I would just play Bloodfast into a, a Vivian Minus. Okay. Hey, JJ Jr. Let's get Daredevil Squire back. And play Crafter away one of these. It's been kind of a crazy game. So that's their last finality that we have to Would you, no one worry about the wilds like I do. Uh, fighting through.
I also have the blood fast out there now. I think we can certainly have it out there. This has been a, this has been a crazy game, man. This is game one, and this has been like a ten minute game of just like the first game of stream today. It's been pretty crazy. So I think they get Choop, Jade Light. Yeah, I mean it's certainly Jade Light. It's either Jade Light Branch Walker or Jade Light Choop. All right, Jade Light Choop. Hmm. I don't have a wonderful answer for Doom Whisper. I think what I'm gonna have to do here. I think what I'm gonna have to do here is just go Daredevil Finality and get rid of all those things. And then I'll have Play Crafter for Doom Whisper. Hey, two nails. So they're going to be able to surveil a lot. But they're out of finalities. Oh, they can fight Carnage Tyrant. That's why I should have contempted and saved Playcrafter because of Carnage Tyrant. They didn't have a da they didn't have a contempt anymore to da to Daredevil. Yeah, there's there's no contempt over here. There's finality was the only card to Daredevil. Oh, huh. They surveilled something at the top and then conceded. Interesting. No, you can't get your own card back with Daredevil. No, you can only get your opponent's cards back with Daredevil. Yeah, getting your own card back would be would be really, really good. You could build around it a lot easier. Alright. Um, the Playcrafters were good for us that game, but they're not usually that good for us. This is a, a matchup where I like Ritual of Set more. So I'm bringing in the Ritual of Sets. Um... Kind of the same thing with Eldest Reborn, but those are like my my ways to kill Carnage Tyrant though too. So maybe I can't get rid of all these. Um, but like having Playcrafter make them kill like a, a one one or whatever, like a Branch Walker or a Chubacabra or a Lanamore Elf. Sometimes it's just it's not what I love. Eldest Reborn of course gets minused by Vivian pretty good. Yeah, I've always liked the Decemberists. Um, could go duress. Have could be duress heavy if we want. Now we have Immortal Sun also. I think I may just do this. Just cut two play crafters for two ritual of sit. Do I want to cut the other play crafter for another blood fast? I don't think so. I want to cut it for a duress. I can see doing that. No. Nah. Let's keep it. I like having the Playcrafter in there that we can get back with Find Finality from a Daredevil. Alright. We got the first incredibly long and difficult game. Let's see you. How we can do in the next one? Ooh, love me some Immortal Sun. Yeah, they didn't find a Wild Growth Walker that whole time. That's true. Come on, we need lands. Any spells going to the graveyard. Dang it. No, our immortal son is gone.
It's kind of the good thing about duress is I get to daredevil duress them back. Uh, I can do that next turn if they just fire off duress and like nothing else here. Teemo support! Being our first sub of the day, welcome to the stream. Alright. Kicking the stream off well. So we are down to 19 subs from new emo. We are very close. There. And one out of five for the sub goal. I would really like to get to, yeah, we got 10 RNA packs. I really want to end up with 13 RNA packs at the end of the stream, which which would be getting to 15 subs on the day. Um, because at 13, then, because then not streaming tomorrow, but then the Thursday, you know, doing 12 hour stream um, with 13 packs, the I will open one at the beginning be of the stream and then one every hour, you know? And so then that'll be like the, the 12 hours. So I get one at the very beginning and then one every hour. That that'd Meet be kind of cool. My newest friend. So, all right, Carnage Tyrant. It's gonna be a tough one to deal with. I think paper pre-release is not is not this Friday. It's next Friday. It's going to be on Arena here already. On Thursday. So why not Daredevil Duress attack Vivian? Because attacking Vivian is not going to kill Vivian. And... I want to, and that's just letting them tick up more and get more cards, and that's not a good idea to let Vivian just stay on the battlefield, so. Pre release is this weekend? Oh, okay. Release weekend is next weekend. Pre-release is this weekend. Gotcha. Okay. My bad. I had that off. So just emptying my hand. I, I want to empty my hand before the Elvis Reborn makes me discard. Plus, as far as racing... Uh, opportunities. I want to make. I want to make my opponent have a three-turn clock with the Carnage Tyrant, and not a two-turn clock. So gaining two life there, um, and killing the Land War Elf, not making them. All right. So they're attacking for eight here, but then I'll contempt this thing. You know, like we'll make it a, a three-turn clock. Hmm. I guess I have to discard that contempt. So they have a phoenix they can get on their side with this Eldritch Reborn minus. Alright, Cali Commuter. I'll keep trying. Uh, it's just like where it's like when it's releasing in paper and and everything. And on arena. All right, we got them to not attack with Carnage Siren. Oh boy, that's a good one. That's a good one. Good thing I didn't cut the Playcrafter. Good thing we didn't cut the Playcrafter. Oh baby, Maractos mid range starting off with a win. What a draw. All 
All right. Starting off, the last guilds are out of stream. Good. Uh, maybe we'll get all five five win leagues today. Victory. Oh, hey, Gore, I'm sorry I saw you. Uh, I finally broke out of the gold tier and constructed. Hey, way to go. Yeah, that's awesome. Good job. That's certainly not easy. 20 and 0. We're 19 more. 19 to go. All right, opponents on six cards. Good for us. Ooh, I was expecting a Thought Erasure. Keeping both cards on top. Interesting. Both cards staying right there. They gotta be some good ones. That is a good one. Our opponent has a tough choice here, honestly. Like Midnight Reaper, Playcrafter, Daredevil, Phoenix, like these are all just good cards. Um I could see them like really choosing about any of them. Daredevil in particular, at four mana, I get to Daredevil, Thought Erasure, them back. That's not something that these decks like to have very much. So yeah, there goes there goes the uh, Daredevil. Played till 2 a.m. yesterday, then from 11 to 2 p.m. to 10 to 2 p.m. today. Yeah, got a lot of work. Nice, good job. All right, Midnight Reaper, go do your thing. Yeah, so they probably have like Contempt or Coils if they're playing red for like Reaper Phoenix. They just didn't want me to Thought Erasure them. Uh, you're gonna be working? Well if you can if you can watch me at work, I'll be I'll be here playing uh, you know, a bunch of RNA. Kept both cards again. All right, there we go. There goes one card. A field of ruin to the graveyard. Oh, man. This card's just so good against blue-black. I mean, I want to play Phoenix here. But we just got to get Bloodfast on the battlefield. It's just so good. Hard Coder, sub number two. Welcome. All right, so we are at 18 more subs for new emo. Second sub of the day. All right, so now it's Phoenix time. Yeah, we'll just discard Lava Coil, because Playcrafter will kill like any creature that they have anyway. <laughs> I'm excited for what this deck's going to look like next set. Like, way too excited. I could certainly see this deck being Jund, because just having Find Finality in this deck, like with these creatures and everything, is awesome. So I could certainly see this uh, splashing green uh, for Find Finality, and then maybe, you know, a couple other things. Uh, you know, not exactly sure what else you want in green. I don't think you need something like Carnage Tyrant, but maybe. But Find Finality is pretty incredible at this. All right, they're, they're surveilling to the top again. Lots of surveil to the top. A lot of that going on over there. Um. Yeah, we'll do one. Could hit another Phoenix. Okay. All right, so what are they getting? Midnight Reaper? Oh, no, I discarded the coil. 
So now they get to Daredevil Coil my Phoenix. No. Teamer mid range. Two words. <laughs> You're excited to see people get their board wrath by a 6 6 fl flamper. So why not discard their hand? Uh, I think it's better just to draw cards, honestly. turn. Still do have to beat an Ascanta. Ascanta's going to be kind of tough. I'll have him discard one of these two cards. If I sack Phoenix and they have Ritual of Soot, I'll just sack the Playcrafter. Yep, Spawn of Mayhem, that's a demon. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, they have a, a few demons in there. I'm glad they didn't just activate as Kanta and then untap and be able to cast like Contempt plus something else that they found. Land. Ugh. Hey, nerd girl. No, Dark Phoenix. Not at all. Let's see. So they're surveilling. They've surveilled two of the graveyard twice. They're sure paying lots of life. They're down nine. They're going lower. Hmm. They ditched Ritual of Soot, Ritual of Soot. All right, so if they're ditching Ritual of Soot, that means I'm gonna sack Rekindling Phoenix. And they got rid of Fungal Infection too. Yeah, I'm definitely sacrificing Rekindling Phoenix at this point. They just... They're just not happy with anything. You're just... They really just gave up on this game. Yeah, they, they just, just gave up on the game. That's okay. It's going to help us in our 20 and 0 today. All right. Let's get another blood fast. Let's get all these duresses in. Um, and then take out Coil. Or I, I'll still have Playcrafter Contempt Eldest Reborn for removal. That's still quite a bit of removal. And then also like Daredevil plus one of their things. Yeah, that's still plenty of removal. Um, I gotta cut one more card though, 
And I think that card may just be a contempt. Yeah. I want to have Playcrafter like on turn three for like a Thief of Sanity on turn three. Something like that. Would anyone be, be willing to take a quick glance at my new best one Boros Mentor deck and see if you've made any obvious mistakes? I, I don't think Rustwing Falcon is very good. I would rather play... There's a 1-mana a one 1-1 one, one lifelink flyer, which I think the 1-1 one, one lifelink flyer is going to be better for you because you can mentor, when you mentor onto that, uh, you know, it's a it's a bigger lifelink creature. So I would certainly recommend that card over Rustwing Falcon. You could also play Goblin Banneret or um, Hunted Witness in that slot also. But I don't I don't like Rustwing Falcon. Besides that, it looks good. So you want okay, you want Rustwing to dodge Chain Whirler? Gotcha. Yeah, you want something to not die to Chain Whirler. Hunted Witness may be a good card for you then. Because even if Hunted Witness dies to Chain Whirler... Um, yeah, even if Hunted Witness dies to Chain Whirler, it leaves you back a 1-1 lifelinker. But then, of course, you can't really attack through Chain Whirler there. So, no, I, I understand where you're going there. I, that's fine. So right now they have Discovery. Oh yeah, definitely good to get rid of that disinformation campaign right away. Absolutely. Our opponent's going to let us Daredevil here. What if they sabotage the discovery? <laughs> uh, yeah, those are both fine. We can just play Phoenix next turn. Or if they play Doom Whisperer, we'll play Playcrafter. You're welcome, Dirk. All right, Playcrafter time. I think we're gonna sack Daredevil. Blood Operative, are they paying more life? Paying more life. Oh, I should keep Daredevil because it, it's good against Blood Operative, I suppose. I was getting rid of it because we, we've seen Fungal Infection from them. You know, not sure if they kept Fungal Infection, but Daredevil is better against Blood Operative. Hmm. This is a tough choice. I don't think I discard a Phoenix, because I don't think I want them to get back Phoenix. Oh, they're going to get back. I'll discard Phoenix. They're going to just get back Doom Whisperer. Yeah, Cinder Barons are a little slow. There's not a better option, though, for Red Black. It's certainly worth it. Like, you need you need the dual lands. There's just not a better option right now in Standard. But no, it's not desirable. Hmm. 
opponent was very self-destructive. We had lethal on the battlefield, and they just played a disinformation campaign instead of like a creature that could block. Hey, Dirk getting that sub in there. Thank you so much, Dirk. All right, 2-0. We're on our way to that 20-0. Hey, Shangri Lama, doing really good. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for being here. All right, that is sub number three on the day, and we are 17 subs away now from the next emote. Keep. If we get to that, if we get to our, our emote goal of 17, I'm going to do another 12 hour s stream. Yeah, Esper is definitely going to be good next expansion. I certainly think so. It has kind of everything. So we're already doing a 12 hour stream on Thursday. We'll do another 12 hour stream. I don't know, maybe Saturday? What's the first deck you're going to test out for the new set? Not not sure yet. Um, you know, I'm going to be playing limited to start with to to start building up my collection. So it'll be kind of... It will determine... It will be determined a little bit by what cards I am able to get. Um, I think I want a Phoenix here. So I think... Like, they don't have any black mana right now. I think I could maybe sacrifice Phoenix to... Uh, dang it. Phoenix to Playcrafter. Sunshine! Why not use your credit card to build your collection? Because, yeah, that does cost a good amount of money. And uh, this is my full-time job here, Gnarly. I don't make too much money. So I'd rather, rather try to build it up through Limited. All right, four out of five. Thank you so much, Sunshine. Hmm. And they're keeping... Keeping another Wild Growth Walker. So they're going to Wild Growth plus another Jade Light next turn. Thanks, Todd James. No, I'm, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be taking tomorrow off and resting up for the 12-hour stream on Thursday. Um, yeah, I used to be a writer for Star City Games before. Uh, writing's not necessarily one of my favorite things. Um, I'm certainly considering, you know, I've been thinking of a lot of different things to, to be built in the stream. I'm considering doing a, um, kind of like a blog thing or, or more realistically, maybe like a, a weekly newsletter kind of thing to the, to the subscribers and everything. Um, so they could have cast down. I think if they have cast down, they just attack with Jade Light Ranger also. All right, call the bluff. They discard Jade Light. Interesting. So right now I'm, I'm bringing back Jade Light with Eldest Reborn. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. I'll keep stop. I'll keep stop. 
come to Oh, they me. ticked up. Hmm. I wish there was a way that I could... I just... I'm one red mana short. If I had one more red mana, I could throw three goblins at Vivian and kill it before this Eldritch Reborn happened. Just one red mana short. Alright, so we'll have Phoenix plus C Siege Gang. Get rid of Vivian. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Ah! Strike me, and you strike nature. Hmm. Can I contempt the Vivian first? Yeah, if I contempt it, though, it's just exiled. I don't get it back from Eldritch Reborn. I do have a Memorial of Folly, so I'm a little safe here of just sacrificing the Rekindling Phoenix. Because uh, even if they have, like, a, a cast down or a way to kill the token... I'll still be able to follow you back. Yeah, finality would certainly be rough. You know, they have one card we don't know about. They'd have to get it. They'd have to have another land and a finality. You know, like it's not. It's not super likely they just have another land and finality there. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I mean, I've uh, done a lot of different coaching things just kind of in general in my life. That's not something I'm, I'm super interested in. Hours that I would spend coaching, I'd rather, be sp I'd rather spend streaming. Okay, so I sack Rekindling Phoenix, and I sack Goblin Token, and then, yeah, so it's, it's worth it to do this first instead of attacking first. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm coaching on stream. Never mind, not so rude. So I was still so well my plan was like let's say I just draw a land or whatever. My plan there is just to attack all out. Still. And um they block Siege Gang, you know, I, I shoot the Siege Gang at them. They block a playcrafter, I get to get playcrafter back. You know, maybe they block their own Jade Light and kill that and that's fine. So we are still gonna be racing them just fine. Like we were in a really good spot, and then we drew Elvish Reborn and the game's over. Um, but we are going to be in a really good spot even without that Eldritch, Eldritch Reborn. Yep, did a set review for Ravnica Allegiance. Yeah, you can find you can find that up on my YouTube channel, youtubecom slash c slash Todd Stevens MTG. All right, same thing. I cut two play crafters for two ritual sets. Thanks, gnarly. Yeah, this deck this deck is good. I like it quite a bit. Um. Yeah, I have it broken up by by color there. So I have white, blue, black, red, green, and then multicolor. So yep, got the whole set review there. Talk about all the cards. Give them all a rating from A to F um, for standard. Hey, Suzu. 
What deck would you rather not run into with Rakdos mid-range? Um, I don't want to see a mill deck. Uh, or like Turbo Fog or Mill, something like that. I guess Turbo Fog would be better. Like our our removal for like Teferi is better. Um, besides that, um, I don't think Mono Red, like Mono Red Burn, like expect especially like Risk Factor, uh, Flame Akeld, like really going lots of burn spells. That's not a good matchup. Because we can't stop burn spells to the face. So basically, basically, this deck can't stop burn spells to the face, and it does not have a very fast clock. So decks that clock quickly and have burn spells to the face. Yeah, against a wizard's burn deck, probably not as probably not so good. Um, I don't know exactly in e in EU time. I know it's 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 it's 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, I believe GST is four hours after Eastern, so that's, what, noon, one, two, three, like three o'clock GST? I could certainly be wrong, I don't even know if those are the right... So it's 9.40 for you in Germany, so you're six hours past me. So, it's 11 a.m. here, so six hours after 11 a.m., so that's, what, 5 p.m.? So 5 p.m., German. Go ahead and keep ritual of soot. They didn't play a land there. Sure, they'll draw a bunch of cards with Midnight Reaper, but I can draw a bunch of cards with Midnight Reaper too. I think it's probably just a good, good card to keep. Maybe I can find a, an exile spell for this Midnight Reaper. What's a good starter deck on MTG Arena? Um, I think trying to work work towards like one of the monocolor decks. Like a monocolor aggro deck. I think that's a good place to be. Uh, I haven't made any changes in Nia Legends yet. We'll kind of see before we play uh, before we play the league if if we want to change anything. But I haven't looked at it yet. Do you think any decks in standard now will be tier one even after the new set? Maybe a few additions. Um, the best chances of that are probably the. Huh. Kind of surprising they threw both of those out there when they know about Ritual of Set. Alright, so we'll throw. I guess I just passed turn. Actually, yeah, I just passed turn. Uh, definitely like the like a, a an aggro deck, especially like a red aggro deck. Maybe that kind of just plays a little bit of Rakdos stuff, but that's that's certainly where you're going to be gaining the most there.
Oh yeah, I mean, I'll definitely be working on value decks and stuff uh, with the new set, for sure. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're just going to restart here. So we're going to have Ritual of Soot just clear the board. And so they have three cards, two cards, uh, two cards in a land, and we got a squire and a phoenix. We'll see what happens here. Hmm. It's kind of the problem with Eldritch Reborn. I would rather Eldritch Reborn a, a Carnage Tyrant or something like that, but we're just not going to be able to really get those. You know, we're not going to necessarily get a Carnage Tyrant if they have a Wild Growth Walker chilling right there. Um. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a risk to put Chupacabras in their graveyard, but I'd rather the Chupacabras be in their graveyard than on the battlefield. What do you think was going to be the strongest in draft? Not exactly sure yet. That's why I'm going to be playing um, sealed first to kind of see how I like how like the cards play out and all that kind of stuff. There's different things, different things that I like and dislike about all the guilds uh, from just kind of going through the the card previews. It kind of seems like like with. With, um, we don't have a Playcrafter, so I get a Siege King. Alright, so it's either Siege King or Midnight Reaper. With, uh, probably Siege King. Sorry, sorry, I was making that decision there. Anyway, what I was saying, with Guilds of Ravnica... The decks that you drafted were very, very guild centric. Like you played, you drafted Demir, you played Demir, you drafted, uh, you know, Selesnya or, or Boros. You know, like you drafted those. With, with this set, it, it seems like a lot more like that. The guilds kind of have holes on their own, and that there's going to be that it's going to be kind of better to be three color a little bit more than just simply the two color. Hey, sculpted mine. I could have, obviously I could be wrong about that, but that's just like from my, my takeaway from just kind of looking at the the cards. You know, that's what before before playing. If you first pick Wilderness Reclamation and Draft, will you pick this over Judith? Or if you see a first pick, no, I would not take that over Judith. Judith is much better, especially for Draft. Like, it's much better there. All right, so they block Squire and I deal four to them. Sack a Squire to deal four. Probably worth it. Oh no, you played into Cell the Wreckage? No.
Maybe I should have made that attack. Oh, I could have shot. Yeah, I guess I could have. I could have sacked two goblins to shoot the rec the rekindling phoenix. That I don't know why that didn't just come up in my mind, but yeah, I should have done that. That was yeah. No, I. You know, just. Yeah, that is definitely what I should have done there. Yeah, no, I that was that was a bad play by me. I should have sacked two goblins and killed the phoenix. I think the attack was bad. I think I just kind of finished that game off poorly. I think my attack was bad. I think, yeah, definitely should have done that. So they're still playing all these Carnage Tyrants. Maybe we get these Playcrafters in here. Playcrafters have just been impressive all the time. Hmm. So what do you think I could have drawn from there, Sin Christ? What which one of these cards would have been a good draw to, to take out that the Carnage Tyrant from there after we go down to like a really low life total? Elvis Reborn. So I like Yeah. If I chump with a lot of things, I have to shoot. Just chump with stuff and shoot the Chupacabra. But yeah. Yeah, it's very likely over, but I guess not over. I wanted to go to the next. Oh, yeah, we even had Coil. I just wanted to go to the next game. I was done with that game. Sometimes you're done with the game and you want to move on. I was done with that game and I wanted to move on. Um... I don't know what to, I don't really have anything to cut. Phoenix and a contempt. Thanks for it. Yeah, I was real close to taking out the blood fast. For sure. Hmm. This hand could be bad. Oh, yeah. I would love Immortal Sun. I mean, when Immortal Sun's on the battlefield, you just don't lose. The problem is, is you know, it costs six mana and you have to draw it and you have to play it. But you don't, you don't lose whenever Immortal Sun's on the battlefield. Is there a replacement for Dire Fleet? Yeah, you could play, um, you could play, like, the two mana 1-1 one, one that ETBs, you lose a life and draw a card. You could play that. You could play Treasure Map. Treasure Map, actually, may, no, that one's not so bad. Oh, I I don't really have good answers for for those questions in Christ of just what to add at the beginning. I, d I don't know. I know a lot of people have been asking that by about a lot of decks and I just I don't have a good answer for any of them. Yeah, definitely Blood Crypt. <laughs> hey, Warpaxio, good evening. I should be choosing to be on the draw in this matchup. I should probably just be on the draw in this matchup. 
think that extra card is pretty important. Games just go so long. Alright, we got our fourth land, so we're back in it. Third Midnight Reaper. The big problem is I don't have an answer now to a Vivian. They have a Vivian. And of course, blocking Branch Walker because Branch Walker is a better card for them. It's a better card for me to have for them to finality. I don't want them to finality or find. Like I don't want them to find it back a Jade Light Ranger. Alright, I need two more mana. So I can Daredevil Contempt. Okay. This is nothing. I don't really mind a, a minus Vivian plus a Chupacabra. That's not the worst for me. We need, need another land. Yeah, I messed up the second game. I think, I've, I think I determined that being on the being on the draw would have been a lot better this game than being on the play. I think maybe being on the draw is just better. Yeah, you can you can find the, the deck list is right there. Um, exclamation point deck gets you the deck list there. Golden Mind is our fifth sub of the day. That gets some hype. Thank you so much, Sculpted Mind. All right, we're picking up. We're picking up a loss, but we're not. We're not out of it. We can. We can get one. One loss. So that's a fifth sub that adds a pack to the pack counter. Get into next sub goal, and we are down to. I guess it still says 16 subs right now. If it changes to 15, I'll update that. Yeah, not gonna be 20 now. Oh well. I messed up, I messed up the second game. Yeah, come on goblin, save us. Save us goblin. Chandler gifting out five subs. Whoa. Chandler, thank you so much. So congratulations to Charles Martel, Hobart, Leo Mage, uh, I'm McPanel, and Dufsky. Yeah, I got to save you some extra typing. Thank you so much, Chandler. All right, that puts us to 589. So it says we're, we are 11 away now. If we get to this... New emote sub goal. I uh, will be. I'll be doing another 12 hour stream. We're doing a 12 hour stream on Thursday. If we get 11 new subs here, get to 600, we'll be doing that. So we're at 589 out of 600 right now. All right, two and one. Yeah, Sculpted Mind, it might have, I mean, it still says 11 right now. There might have been somebody else's uh, subscriber um, 
somebody else's sub may have like actually finished, you know, during this time that subbed like a month ago kind of thing, you know? During this, it still says that I'm 11 away, so. You know, because the sub numbers fluctuate, you know, fluctuates. So. Still shows I'm 11. Hmm. All right, let's get another land so we can get towards Midnight Reaper here. I'd be happy with 20 and 4, you know. I just want to hopefully get to 5 wins with all these decks. So I'd, I'd be happy with 20 and 4. We'd go 5 1, 5 1, 5 1, 5 1. That'd be great. Main deck. Duress. Takes the Lava Coil. And therefore we draw another Lava Coil. <clears throat> Unfortunately the Thoughtseize Bug kind of hurting us here. Where we didn't get another land. Alright, we got the land. Not an untapped land though. I would have I would have Daredeviled... Daredevil to rest if we hit on tap land. Mm -hmm. I'm getting rid of Thought Erasure. So they, they gotta have like Thief of Sanity here. Do I wanna play Reaper and wait a turn to be able to Daredevil Daredevil Discovery to try to hit another land drop? But I guess. I guess at that point we'd just already be able to contempt because we just drew a contempt. So I'll just Daredevil duress. Yep, they certainly have Thief of Sanity, which is predictable, but Hostage Taker. I got that one too. Uh, Lodi! Or Lodi! With the sub! That gets some hype boats. Ahoy! Alright, another removal spell down. Thanks, Lottie. Alright, now it says now we're down ten to ten left. <laughs> nice, you gotta get that hype boat in there. Opponent is playing fun cards. Just a bunch of discard stuff. Thief Sandies, all kinds all that kind of stuff. I think, I think this is a good matchup to be on the draw. Yeah, it's a storm count there. I'll just, we got exile spell. I'll just exile with thought erasure. Um, hostage taker is awesome with Eldritch Reborn on our side. You know, like third chapter, we get to put hostage taker in and have all the mana available with hostage taker imme immediately. It is very good for us. So that they can use their cast down to kill my Phoenix to get one hit with Eva Sanity, but we're still looking really good here. Because, uh, yeah, third chapter, Eldritch are born. We take Hostage Taker. Our Hostage Taker takes their, their Thief of Sanity. We're looking real good here. They're, like, certainly relying on this one singular hit from Thief of Sanity to do a whole lot for them. I don't really know anything in our deck that would be necessarily that good of a hit for them. Anything that saves them here. Nice. 
No, you're in your main phase. Yeah, you're at the. Yeah, when the saga is thir third chapter resolving, it's the it's the beginning of the the main phase. Um, yeah, it's very weird wording. Nice ox. Where'd you go? All right, so let's play another blood fast. Or let's play not another, but a single another a blood fast. Um. Kind of everything in our deck is good in this matchup, though, which is like a problem. I could just take out Squires. All they do is just help us hit land drops. Hmm. And then, uh... yeah, I'm liking this song. This is a good song. Uh, this is one of the newer ones added to the playlist that I haven't heard the song too much compared to some of the others. Um, I'm thinking a Reaper or a Siege King. Let me just take the Siege Gang, just to kind of lower the curve a little bit, even though Siege Gang's so good. Yeah, just to lower the curve. Without having Seeker Squire, we're not going to hit lands quite as often. Yeah, if you have, if y'all have like other songs like this, do you think you know, like they're just, you know, good, fun, upbeat songs that are good, good for a stream, you know, positive songs and stuff. Uh, feel free to message them to me for me to check out and put on the the stream playlist. I think this song I just found with like a Spotify, you know, like recommendation thing. I think being on the draw, it's a lot easier to keep two landers on the draw than on the play. So I'm, I'm glad we're on the draw. All right, Thought Erasure, Discovery, Cast Down. I'm not taking Cast Down, so it's Thought Erasure or Discovery, and I think I just take Thought Erasure. Yep, all my cards are better than like a regular card. I wrote that down, Wang Chung. Ah. Thought seize bug. Duress bug. Happened again. Yep, we got bugged again. Because Cinder Baron adds both mana black and and red uh evolving wilds is only one color either red or black but you can choose which one but you only get one um i'd rather just have the two evolving wilds slightly slightly thins the deck you know very very slightly but that's not something i necessarily need in this kind of deck i like hitting lots of land drops um but i think it's it's certainly more valuable to have the option for both colors Yeah. Hey, that's that's still definitely valuable, just knowing a bit about music. That's certainly definitely... Yeah, that's definitely valuable. Alright, Midnight Reaper. Go reap and stuff. Uh, 
Uh, it's not a real bug. It's a, it's kind of a joke of a bug that whenever you play whenever you play a discard spell, whatever you make your opponent discard, they will then draw that spell up next. You can't play the Shocklands in Standard. They're not legal. They go in double cast down? This is certainly surprising. I certainly expected them just to cast Midnight Reaper. Now this gives us an option. Double cast down here gives us the... Not option, but opportunity. It gives us the opportunity to draw a land and reborn the Taker. Which would be great. Oh, man. That is great for us. Phoenix did its job. 8-2 spells. I certainly think they should just cast the Midnight Reaper. You know, they're at 18 life. Like, they can take 4 damage from a Rekindling Phoenix. That is wonderful for us. Alright, Goldfields. I have not... Heard of that band. Any particular song with Goldfields? It's easier for me to, to check out individual like songs than, you know, an entire band. Treehouse. Moves. All right, and next turn we have So I didn't think my opponent would block there, but I think that's honestly not a bad block for my opponent. Um The next turn we're going to be able to get the hostage taker and take their thief of sanity just like we did the previous game. Yeah, we have not seen the immortal sun once. I mean, well, we did see it one time and it got discarded. Um, against one of the Golgari opponents. They had like a duress that they discarded it. That was that was the one time we saw it. Hey QQ image. And this is match number four. <laughs> so yeah, we have not seen it very much. We'll see if they have dive down. Oh, they could just have cast down. They, yeah, they just have removal spell for hostage shaker. All right, that works too. I guess I could have just got. That was maybe a little... Maybe I should have just got Dire Fleet Daredevil or another Rekindling Phoenix. Maybe that was just a little... Too... Trying to... Too unnecessary. Oh. We should still just be in a wonderful spot for obvious reasons here. No, because Hostage Shaker died uh, in response to the trigger, so the the Thief of Sandy doesn't doesn't leave. Yeah, but it only leaves as long as it stays uh, in play. All right, three and one. That seemed like a good matchup for us. That seemed like a pretty good matchup. All right, so we're 10 subs away from being able to unlock another emote. Uh, I don't have a new emote right away to get. Still need uh, the emote artist. 
Um, but you know, we'll knock, we'll unlock another slot with 10 more subs. And if we get there this stream, then, uh, I'll be doing another, doesn't necessarily have to be the stream, but whenever we get there, I'm going to be scheduling another 12 hour stream. We already got a 12 hour stream for Thursday lined up and I'll be doing another 12 hour stream. If we get to the, for, we have two goals right now that I'm trying to get to this, this, uh, new emote goal. And then also a thousand subs on YouTube. Um, so, if you are, if you're also wanting to follow along the YouTube channel, I put up all the videos on there. YouTube.com/c/todstevensmtg. Um, We're at 628. This was the number earlier. Ah, 633. All right, we've gotten five subs today. So whenever we get to 1,000 there, I'll do another 12-hour stream to celebrate that. 634 now. Nice. Anyway, next question, question was, how many RNA packs do you plan on getting on launch? Right here, we're at 12 right now with our RNA pack counter. Um, hey, hi, Shin. Oh, thanks, Gnarly. Yeah, it's just a click. Yeah, even if you don't watch YouTube too much, if you have an account there, of course, you know, you just have to have an account, but if you have an account, it's just a click just to, to follow real easy. Thanks, Cult of Mine. Um, yeah, well, you know, if we get more sub goals, then Siren you know, we'll, we'll get more, but right, right now we're at 12. Uh, I would certainly, you know, 13 at least would, would be a good number where we can, like, if we get 13 for Thursday's 12-hour uh, stream, I'll open up one at the very beginning of the stream, and then one every single hour. And that's, that will be pretty neat. Alright, let's play Squire. I'm playing Squire first, because if we get an ETB tap land like a Cinder Barons, we can just play that. Hmm... So Midnight Reaper is good, but it's not a land, and with having, like, Bloodfast out and everything, I think I would rather just have a land. Do, do, do. All right, one second. All right. Let's just go Squire in again, I suppose. Treasure maps, you know, gonna be a little annoying. We'll get a lot of treasures, lots of mana. Um, this, you know, being a Sultai deck like this, I'm expecting this to be a, uh, Planeswalker-based control deck. So, you know, we're looking at, like, uh, man, Siege King. We're looking at, like, you know, Karn, Tezzeret, Vraska, Relic Seeker, all that kind of stuff. Which Playcrafter, of course, is good against those. Anyway... MTG Rude, howdy Todd, how's life been treating you? I haven't dropped a bit, haven't dropped by in a while. Life's been treating me really well. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying being a, a full-time streamer here and everything. I have a lot of fun playing Magic and talking with everybody in chat. The problem with Tezzeret this and... An Ooh, that's good. I was going to say, the, the problem with like Tezzeret, Braska, Relic Seeker, they... Tick up and make tokens, which makes my play crafters, of course, worse. Yep, I'm gonna be doing limited to get cards for the most part. Ooh, 
But no, I'm not, I'm not planning on getting others outside of that. I'm going to be playing, playing sealed to try to get cards. Uh, what do you think of Dawn of Hope and Selesnya midrange? I like it. Dawn of Hope's really strong. I like it quite a bit. The belligerent needs her crew. Yeah, the the whole the whole these tokens, you know, these planeswalkers making tokens bit is kind of difficult for me. Oh, it won't take me two weeks to get lots of cards. A few days. You know, we're planning on playing lots of limited, so. Couple days. I'm sure I'll be playing standard within a week. Um, I won't have everything in standard then, you know, and I'll, I'll like continue to play limited also. But I'm sure I'll be playing some standard. Um, Make your captain proud. Yeah, the. The events are, will be like the same price as normal. Um, sealed it was 2,000 gems. Yeah, I'm allowed to go to GPs. I don't. I don't want to. I'm not. I don't have any desire to. Okay, so we're going to. All right, so I'm glad they blocked there. And I'm really glad we drew the the extra land. So we get to go ahead and coil this and then play crafter. And that is perfect. Hey Iron Mello. Big mistake. Favorite card from Allegiance? I'm not sure. I mean, honestly, my fa like just favorite is probably Domri. I like Domri a lot. Um, I like Planeswalkers. I like green, red Planeswalkers. Like Domri's have always been some of my favorite Planeswalkers. So. Yeah, I like Domri a lot. So yeah, real good for us that they blocked there with that token, and we drew the land. We were real fortunate to get that Vrask out of there. Uh, it's just in the VODs. I didn't, I didn't make a list. No, I didn't make like a, like a list of those. It's just in the VODs. Oh yeah, I'm not, I don't think Domri is like amazing or anything like that, it's just like my favorite. I just like the card a lot, but I, I don't think it's like a a great Planeswalker. Alright, draw on the card now because of a, if we draw a land we get to play a land. It's not a land. Yeah, Kukuls, I agree with you, I think there's going to be... I think basically every three color combination feels like you can make a viable standard deck with it. You know, I don't know if that's going to be like, that means like they'll all be tournament winning viable decks, but like viable from, for like me making decks and, and playing them on arena here, kind of viable. That would certainly be nice if the bots pass the shocks more. That would certainly be nice. They are way overtaking those. <laughs> Looks like our opponents just kind of flooded out. So 
So I, I did have the opportunity to contempt my playcrafter in response. If they were at 8, I probably would have done that. But they were not at 8, so... The 2 life they gained wasn't really that big of a deal. Tomorrow is just for streamers, for like a, a special streamer event for um, Allegiance. And then Thursday is when Ravnica Allegiance will be available to everybody starting at 8 a.m. Pacific. Um, and for Limited, the only Limited event that's going to be up on Thursday was going to be sealed. Uh, competitive Draft will be up on the next day on Friday. Um, but you can also buy, you'll also be able to buy packs on Thursday and trade in wild cards and that kind of stuff to build standard decks. All right, let's get a bunch of duresses in. Another blood fast. And we're taking out these coils. And uh, yeah, like Playcrafter getting rid of these planeswalkers that have all these tokens is going to be kind of tough. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have Immortal Suns in our deck. That'd be nice to draw one of those. What would be like another card to take out here? I mean, I like all these things. Guess I could just take out a Squire. And I like Squires just being two mana and start attacking Planeswalkers and stuff. Oh yeah, and then you can use Play Allegiance for three packs. Good point, good point. Let me... uh. I think, do I have, all right, yeah. So those codes are gonna be gone. Yeah, I know the Game Awards one expired a long time ago. I just, you know, I didn't have that command updated. And so, yeah, so yeah, so that'll be available, and I think they said that that'll be available to start at like noon Pacific, so like four hours after it's live, the, the Play Allegiance is going to take a little bit of time. Um, don't know if that's 100% accurate, that's what I just kind of remember hearing off the top of my head. Yeah, that's the new new code will be play allegiance with allegiance coming out with the P and the A capitalized. Well, I'm not getting rid of a mortal son. Even if we aren't able to cast it yet, certainly not getting rid of it. Lido. No! Ugh, there goes my the Immortal Sun. The very least it's getting shuffled up. I don't I don't know why my opponent has Unmort Ego in this matchup. I don't know what they possibly want with Unmort Ego. Um Okay, they want a rekindling Phoenix? Sure. Like that doesn't It's not really worth a card. I could Daredevil there on Mordigo and take some of their Planeswalkas. Yeah, I could on Mordigo them back. <laughs> Just name, you know, Tezzeret or Karn or Vraska. Like, that's all their win cons, I think, are just those three cards. I think on Mordigo is good specifically against Arclight Phoenix, Teferi, and Niv Mizzet, and nothing else but it can be good against specifically those three cards I mean I think in the Nexus decks you just named Teferi but I guess same yeah same kind of thing could be could name Nexus 
Like those those decks, like sometimes depending on like how the game works out, you know, like sometimes you are already dealt with a Teferi or two, and you want to name Nexus kind of thing. Hmm. Do I actually want to Daredevil? So they have three Planeswalkers that that win the game. You know, they have, like, those are their win cons. They have Karn, Tef Karn, Tezzeret, and Vraska. Do I actually want to get rid of one of them? Or do I just play Midnight Reaper and draw another card? Vraska does kill my blood fast. There are ways... There two mana away from casting Braska anyway. It's gonna go Midnight Reaper. I would prefer I would ego them just because it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. That that's that's the problem with Unmort Ego. It is fun. Um I would prefer that they play a Vras's Contempt and I would get to Daredevil their Vras's Contempt. Whatever, man. I'm not playing that. I'm not not taking tomorrow off and um, then 12-hour stream on Thursday. So many lands. Um. Play Cinder Baron here? I just don't need to play Cinder Baron, I guess. I'm good on different colors of mana and everything. I don't have to go to discard now, but I was just seeing if we would draw. I guess I guess some of my four drops are already gone with these Phoenixes. As a statue, do not talk to me of pigeons. Ah, oh, say hello to my little friend. Hmm. Negate. Oh, that's a good draw. That's a good draw. Yep, new set comes out the 17th. So they want to like negate this that turns their thing into a 1-1 one -one, where now they're just chump walking and now they don't have more treasures. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just play this and name uh, Vraska. Tezzeret would be a little annoying also. Wait. They can't cast Vraska. Never mind. Tezzeret time. They did have Vraska in their hand. So they have, oh, Eldest Reborns. Okay, so they have a random Thief of Sanity. 
two Vraska, two other negates. They're playing four negate total. They're playing four negate and two lookouts dispersal. So they have three Eldest Reborn, three search for his Kanta, a River's Rebuke. Looks like three Karns. Three Karn, two Vraska, two Tezzeret. Yeah, the thing is, like, once I click that second Tezzeret, well, that's fortunate. I make my own decisions. So they only have so they have negates and ritual set now. Take no prisoners. Not a lot of good spells for my. Um, <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Not a lot of good spells for my daredevils. So I think they'll just kill Midnight Reaper and jump. Daredevil is what I would assume. But in their deck, you know, like, usually I see a lot of, like, more discard spells in this kind of deck. Oh, wow. Please stop. Oh, yeah, they don't want, they don't want their Vraska to die to a uh, sacrifice effect. Right, that makes sense. Man, I already played a land. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we need 11 subs now. We're going back way on our sub counter. If we hit this sub goal to get to the next emo, remember, I'm adding in another 12 hour stream. Not only doing one Thursday, we'll do another one either Friday or Saturday also. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, Bloodfast certainly has won this game. Bloodfast, pretty great. I think we're going to be 4-1 and one here. That's what it looks like, for sure. They don't have they don't have Tezzeret's left. They don't have a whole lot of great cards in their deck. I think Eldest Reborns are about the best things they can be drawing. Which, they do have, like, three Eldest Reborns. Yeah, that's... Yeah, Bloodfast is certainly... Certainly real good with that... Um, with that new enchantment. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything I need to memorial folly back? Not really. I'm just gonna daredevil uh, this. Uh, walk the plank and destroy this. This non merfolk construct over here. So we certainly have lethal with all these. Goblins and then swinging 
you know, with what we got here. If our opponent draws a land here, they're dead. Like, attack it and then throw the, the goblins at their face with Siege Gang. That'll do. That'll do. Alright, we don't have lethal anymore. And Siege Gang's a great card for them to get with their Eldest Reborn. Wait, do I still have lethal? Do I have enough mana? No, I don't think I have enough mana. So if I, I go get Siege Gang back... And then I play it. I can only sacrifice one thing. Ugh. One, one land off. One land off. So I can go get my Daredevil, and then Daredevil Contempt. I think that's the best thing they can do. Yeah, Daredevil Contempt. Yeah, opponent dead. Ugh. I don't hate Walk the Plank as a as a card. You know, it, it kills basically everything. There's not really Merfolk around besides like Jade Light Ranger and Branch Walker. Something more. So hopefully they did not draw Ritual of Soot. That would have been a great draw for them with Ritual of Soot. And my Temple was tapped with the auto tap so I wouldn't be able to just gain one life with Temple. Alright, they're going to six. We are four and one. We are four and one. Looks like we're losing a lot of subscribers though from a month ago. We're down to needing 13 subs now. All right, yep, good game there, Gorm. That was a good game. And Sin Christ. Oh yeah, this would certainly be a fun kind of deck with RNA, definitely. Hey, Ox getting that Twitch Prom sub in. Thanks, Zexian. Thanks, Ox. Um, we're on the draw with this. That was blood fast on turn two. All right, now back to only needing 12. And we have 12 for the day. Oh no, this hand's so bad against aggro. This is like the kind of hand that would be good against control deck. Uh, the the updates sh should be coming uh, on Thursday as well. Whenever with the new set and everything, I think they're. Uh, I think that's when updates should be happening. Uh, for the fifth copy thing. Best of three doesn't come till next month. Best of three ranks, that is. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Let's go. Let's get these demises in here. Ritual of Set. It's all right. Uh, this is what Doom Whisperer is for, is for the aggro matchups. To be a, a good blocker that also attacks and ends games quickly. Daredevil's not going to be doing a lot for us. And I want a couple duresses because they have a bunch of History Banalia, um, Conclave Tribunal, Experimental Frenzy, uh, Heroic Reinforcements. They actually have lots of things to duress away. Um, so I'm going to trim an Immortal Sun there also. And let's go ahead and go with this. Craving. Right. I felt like I was missing something else. All right. Craving comes in for a couple of Midnight Reapers. I think I may just need both Immortal Suns. No, I'll just play two Midnight Reaper. No, I think I like Doom Whisperer because it because it ends the game pretty fast with the attacking. Um, I think I like it more than Vampire Sovereign. I could certainly see playing Vampire Sovereign though. the The big problem is against red decks. Vampire Sovereign will just get lava coiled, where Doom Whisperer doesn't. You know, it's just so big, it just doesn't die to anything. Not a fan, huh, Dr. Doom? Alright, I'm just going to moment of craving that. Because then Golden Demise will sweep up the other part. Uh, you know, whenever we need to cast that. This kind of matchup, though, with Conclave Tribunals, maybe Vampire Sovereign would be better. Ugh. So they got Tribunal here. Or no, Luxodon? Oh no. That is awful for us. Wow, their hand is loaded. Their hand is loaded. Wow. History into History Luxodon. Uh, and then another Luxodon and a Balanced Marshal. Oh, sure. Yeah, why not? We, why don't we just get that thing back? I'm just like taking lethal here. Yeah, I'm just taking lethal here. That was insane. Dude, final bosses are so good. Yesterday, our whenever we played final bosses yesterday, they just had ridiculous hands. Oh. Wow. Wow. Alright, 4-2. Couldn't get past the final boss there. Alright. We got a Graveyard Marshal and a Hungering Hydra. Alright, so we know that the, the thing about getting gems isn't up yet. I think it, See, I think the gem thing starts in the 42 hours. Alright, Rakdos midrange, still a sweet deck. Um, yeah, still like this deck quite a bit. And can certainly recommend playing some Rakdos midrange if you want a uh, real good deck. Alright, so if you're watching over on YouTube um, in the future, thanks for watching Rakdos midrange. Um, and I hope you come on back for the next video, and I'll see you there.